And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Now I've done not so much levelling up, I've done a pretty much a lot of card questing. Um, just so you can see our card collection at the moment. Very cool as you can see, doing rather well. Um, the only other card that's important is you've got Cypher, Cypher's card, and you've got a very limited time span where you can actually grab that. So I went back up to the third floor of Balam Garden and basically did battle with Headmaster Sid. Who carries that particular card? Now this would actually be Zell's home. I'll do exactly as I want, Zell old boy. I'm the squad leader, you have to obey me. Now I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go straight back in again. You might be thinking, why? Well, because we need to play cards. Because unsurprisingly, Zell's mum is carrying... And she hasn't played it this time, but that's alright. She's got a card I don't actually have there. She's got a blue dragon card. Hold on. The speed's gone down a little bit there. Has it? That's weird. The game seems to be running a little sluggishly at the moment, no matter. Dum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum ba dum ba dum bum. And we win. I know for a fact. We don't have that blue dragon, so that is ours. Now, Zell's mum and me have a long-running relationship. And I don't mean in a creepy way. Not like I'm Zell's dad or anything. But we have a bad relationship in that she hardly ever plays her son's goddamn card. She takes absolutely ages to play it. See, still didn't play it there. Now, come on, my dinch. Ooh, I'll fight this one, because there's two cards there that I don't have. Boom, boom. Uh, no, don't want that one went about. I could either take a Visage or a Blitz. I think I'll take a Visage. Because that's usually a bit rarer than the Blitz card. Come on, you stupid woman. Play your son's card. And of course she doesn't. I had this exact same goddamn problem with her. And she's going to take with a blue dragon. Didn't see that. Oh, what am I doing there? I put that in the fully wrong area. That was stupid, Richard. Should still win it, but... Yep, we got it, and I don't think I've got a bomb card. No, I don't. So come to me, Mr. Bomb. In the last Let's Play, I had this exact same problem with this stupid MILF. Okay. Now drop your son's card. Thank you! Right, we're safe taking that with that. Because he can't take with a four. Then I can counter with that. And we win. 
we shall of course take Zell's card. And just bear with me folks, I want to tr just play with a few of the graphical options here. Well, there's not much in it there, to be honest. No, ignore me on that, folks. I was just playing around with settings for a bit. Anyway, we now have Zell's card. Oh, the other thing we did, sorry, folks, was we upgraded Zell's actual weapon to the Maverick. Yeah, look, a strength of 32 and a vitality of 32. Very cool. Now, I think all we need to do, really, at this point... ...is to get on the train. Now, this woman here is very important. She is the Queen of Cards. Now, she's a whole separate side quest that we don't really want to get into at this point. Later on, you have... <laughs> There's one way of getting some of the rarer cards in the game, where you have to actually start off a chain reaction. Whereas you lose a card to somebody, and then another card takes its place, and then you get the other card back from somewhere else. However, it's a very difficult side quest, and there's an easier way to do it a bit later on. Purchase some tickets. Doom boom. What gets me, you know, is how are these cities not overrun by monsters? That always gets me, you don't see any, like, guards around. Very cool, we're on a very, very long train. I have got the urge to sing we're on the road to Viridian City. Well, it's a train. I wouldn't really call it awesome. It's okay, I guess. You don't have to be so moody, you know. I can understand to a certain degree. God, you've got some bloody status if you're a seed. Your own private cabin on a train, that's awesome, man. Let's go have a look what he's oh yearing at. That's what she said. What kind of magazines? Ah, Pet Pals Volume 1. Interesting, but not very useful to either of us at the moment. Let's say I don't care. Nah, it's okay, thanks, Zell. Be quiet. Mm. 
motion sickness. What the fuzz? A trap. Oh. Welcome to the first of Final Fantasy VIII's Dream Sequences. Now the first thing you'll notice is that we aren't exactly in Kansas anymore, and we are playing as Ward, Laguna and Kiros. All with the same junctions and magic, so not much difference in that regard. Now again, I'm not actually going to level up. Do, 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 do. Because if I do, my main counterparts level up as well, and we don't want that. Do, 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 do. Cure, I think. I'm going to say we're all fully stocked on gear, so we can't have that. Now many people are an absolute massive fan of Laguna. I don't really like him. Never have done, never will. Look at that, he's actually got a machine gun. The guy on his left has got a huge harpoon and the guy on his right has got like two wrist blades. Don't get me wrong, they're all cool weapons, but... Nothing on a gun blade. I'm sorry. Do 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 do. Diddle you also probably notice that the actual get-up that these guys are wearing, it's Galbadian military gear. All very strange, I think you will agree. Come on, run away lads. Hmm, Delling City, I haven't heard of that place before. Well, seeing that, I've only heard of two cities. Timber and Balam. Water. Ward, you take some water. All very strange at this point. I remember first getting to it when I played the, again, uh, the game originally. And I was just like, what the fuzz?
Hmm. So, I don't know whether we're expected to believe this, but three soldiers have just abandoned a war, by the looks of it. Do, 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 do. God damn these people with short skirts. Alright, I'm there. Now what's supposed to be happening here is these people talking in grey. That's actually Cloud, Zell and Selfie. That's Selfie obviously saying that. I don't really expect Squall to be thinking that. Surely they could be caught marshalled for something like that. Now Julia, ladies and gentlemen, is the lady playing the piano. Do 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 Laguna obviously fancies her, but he's a bit of a coward. Well, this is where I start to hate Laguna. Just just wait for it. That's got to be Squall saying that. Are you weirdo, man? I think he's leg cranking up. He's just like a code for an erection or something. Oh, look at him. He's just pitiful. What an idiot. I mean, as if you'd, like, walk all the way over to just in front of the piano, then wave at her. I mean, I'm not exactly a whiz with the ladies, but still, I could do better than that. Well said, Kiros. Such a pitiful little man. going on? Oh, come on, don't be... 
Come on, turn on some charm, man. Oh, come on, man. I agree fully, Squall, if that's you thinking that. Nope, he's probably still got an erection. <laughs> you should really just turn leg into penis, honestly. <laughs> oh, this? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, I've just twisted this conversation. <laughs> Happens all the time when I get nervous. Oh, my mind is just in the gutter right now, honestly. Hey, now she's the one making the moves, Laguna. Don't screw this up, man. I mean, you can, even you can tell, like, even with PSX graphics, she is fairly fit. Maybe not as nice as Renoa, but still. Sounds good enough to me. He does. That's definitely squall that. That's his little kind of phrase, whatever. Look, she's fit. Don't screw this up, you idiot. Manly charm, you could not charm your way out of a plastic bag. But, I'll try and help you if I can, Laguna. Oh, I'm sorry, folks, if I give him too much Laguna hate. He does just grate on me a little bit. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, we're in the bedroom. Oh, don't sit on the bed. Ugh, idiot. Rookie mistake. Because that implies that you want... Oh, I don't know. Why does she tell me to sit down and I've got to go over and talk to her? I don't like this chick already. Well, the fact that you went right up in front of the bloody piano and waved at her, it was kind of hard for her not to see you, you big doofus. I'm telling you, she's making all the moves, so as long as he don't screw it up, we could be in here, folks. 
You know what, Julia? If you did pluck them out and eat them, I wouldn't be too fussed. I'm sure she'd love that. Oh my god. Not really. You probably lost a few points there for actually saying yikes. That wasn't really that clever. Can't remember what. I just wanted to check. Ah, uh, yeah, Desperado. That's La uh, Laguna's limit. I was trying to remember that. I like it if you don't actually click anything there. Laguna will just nod his head like that forever and a day. I love that one. <laughs> it's a year, it's a year, it's a year. Oh, God. Please don't tell me this is Leon and Ada syndrome again. Oh my god. Come on, man. Well, I suppose I'm being a bit overly harsh there. I mean, they're not exactly saying they're in love, but... I don't know. I just hate the idea that you can, like... Maybe it's just me being the cynical person that I am. I don't believe in the whole you can see someone and instantly fall in love with them. I mean, when it comes to Katy Perry, that's different, but... You know, in general, no way. Bye point there, Zell, old boy. Oh God, even selfie. Look at that, folks. Look how high that skirt actually goes. Holy crud. Ever the charm of their school.
So you see, the whole dream was linked. Strange going on. I'm trying to remember. Never mind. I believe so, Zell. So, very strange going on with the fact that three people linked dreams. Not really fully explained, but give it time, I'm sure it will be. And welcome to Timber. Kind of a quainter looking city, I suppose. And in the next video, we'll be exploring, but until then, until then.